So I'm actually going to do the TMI tag. It's been going around Facebook, no, YouTube, Facebook. I don't even get on Facebook. But it's been going around Facebook for quite some time now. And um, I've been tagged a few times way back when, and I'm just now getting to it. So all the questions are going to be on my phone here. And we will just hop into it. Next question, what are you wearing? I am wearing this, um, like, cotton cardigan. Let's see. Okay, so this cotton cardigan with this um, printed maxi skirt with just a white spaghetti strap. I probably didn't have to get up to show you guys all of that, but that's what I have on today. Ever been in love? I have. And let me tell you, who child, that was... It's a good time. Best feeling in the world. And I have always been one to be obsessed with love. Like, I just, I love love. It just, it just, it heals. Like it, oh my God, it just makes everything better. I haven't been in love in a while, unfortunately. It has been um, probably since 2009 I've not been in love. So, well, I had a terrible breakup. Mm, I wouldn't say it was terrible. It was kind of normal, but... We didn't really have a bad breakup at all um, compared to the stories that I've heard of like other people breaking up. Our breakup was pretty mutual. We still talk, like we can talk to this day, you know, that kind of thing. So cool with the family. So not really bad breakup. Um, how tall are you? I think I'm five, five or five, six. I'm not really sure. I feel like an Amazon because all of my friends are like super short. They're literally like five foot and five one. So I always feel taller than what I am, but I honestly think I'm five five, which is I think average. So how much do you weigh? I don't think that's any of y'all business, uh, but since I decided to do a tag, I don't want to cheat you. Right now, I weigh 198. Yeah, I weigh 198. Um, I'm a little overweight, to be quite honest, if you ask me. And I'm excited to say I'm 198 because a month ago I was 213. And any tattoos? Yes, I have two tattoos. I have one on my rib cage here on the side and then one on my, like, my lower stomach. So on my left side rib cage and then one on my right side lower stomach. Um, this one over here is a Latin quote, um, Ellie's Volet Popri. It means she flies with her own wings. It's just a heart. Um, any piercings? I, oh my God, yeah. Have a lot of piercings. Well, I had a lot of piercings. I've had my belly button pierced twice. The first one closed, like I got my, I think I got it done when I was like 16. It closed the first time because I took it out and then I got it re-pierced and um, I was playing with some dog, like my dogs and one day I got in the shower I just heard a clink and I was like shit the ball fell off and I looked down no the whole ring was like on the shower floor and I was just like oh so I looked at my belly button I had a little flap of meat like pulled back um, so I drowned it in antiseptic and put a band-aid on it and I have a scar there Hmm. Makes for a cool story though. I had I have my ears pierced, just one um, like piercing on my lobe. But then on I've had my cartilage pierced. Which ear was it? I think it was this ear. Yeah, I have my cartilage pierced. Yeah, you can still see it. Um, the little hole. I had that pierced. I've had this pierced before. I just recently, most recently, um, got my nose pierced, and I had a hoop. But it took it out because I was trying to change it and uh, literally like within seconds the hole closed and I had my I had it pierced for about seven months before that so it closed and I was not about to go do that again let me tell you it, it hurt oh and I also have my, my, my little friends down here pierced. TMI that is TMI great the tag is called TMI yeah I have my my little booby just pierced no big deal. As OTP. So I've watched a couple of these before I decided to do them. OTP means one true pairing. I mean, I guess I don't really have a one true pairing. Just anybody who can weather the storm and be happy at the end of the day, end of the day, they're my OTP. Um, and my favorite show as of right now, Scandal. Oh my god. 
or SVU, Scandal or SVU. I'm not really on the new, like, the, um, the new TV shows. Like, it took me three seasons to even begin watching Scandal, so I caught up with it in, like, a week. I watched the first two seasons in a week, and then I watched the episodes that were out of the third season, and then I followed it on TV until it ended. I watched two episodes on TV, which tells you how shit far back I am, how behind I am. Um, something... No, it says favorite bands. I don't have any favorite bands. Um, yeah, I don't do bands. Um, something you miss. I miss my sister. She's in California. T.I. I love you. I miss my dog, Sophie. She's a miniature pincher. The cutest effing dog you've ever seen before in your life. Um, she's in KC spending time with my aunt until I graduate. Um, and... that's it miss a lot of stuff but I miss my friends I miss my friends who moved back home from college um Tiffany I miss you Janelle I miss you Sheila I just saw you this weekend but I do miss you I miss my Aunt Betty I just miss a lot of things favorite song I have too many favorite songs to have a favorite song. as of right now the songs that get me going are probably like um Beyonce, of course it's Beyonce, but Beyonce's Jealous, I can relate. Um, <laughs> and then um, I think it's like by Chris Brown, the loyal song, these hoes are loyal. One of my favorite songs as of right now. Okay. I'm I'm 23. I'm 23. I'll be 24 in August. August 25th, I'll be 24. August is a big month. Graduate August 1st. I'll be 24 August 25th. What's up? I'm Zodiac sign. Of course I am a Virgo. Virgo stand up. How do you look for in a partner? First of all, my partner has to be able to say, I'm a sarcastic a-hole sometimes. Like, I'm just, I'm dripping with, like, disdain and sarcasm. It's crazy. Um, so they have to be able to take my personality, and they also have to be able to make me laugh. Have to be super optimistic. They have to have something going for themselves. Um, I look for a lot of qualities in a partner, but those are a few of them. Favorite quote. Do I have favorite quotes? And one of the Tyler Perry movies, I don't remember which one, but... Uh, Medea was like, the best revenge you can have on somebody is to prove them wrong. And I took that and ran with it. So, here I am today. Um, favorite actor? I don't have one. Favorite color? Um, it's probably like a deep burgundy. Um, and then I'm a fan of, like, neutrals. I've really been on the neutral thing. Um, so, loud music or soft music? Loud. Yeah, I prefer loud music. You go when you're sad. I go to my bathroom and I do makeup. Don't judge me. How long does it take you to take a shower? Um, I average about 10, 15 minutes. If I'm shaving, it can take me up to 45. By the time I get out of the shower, I'm slick bald. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Depends on where I'm going. If I am going to work and if I'm running late, I can get ready in five minutes. Um, if I... I'm not running late and I'm going to work it can take me 20 30 minutes but if I need to do head to toe fabulous glams up just baby rock it it could it could take a long time my friends will probably say it can take me up to two hours and it's not like I'm getting ready the whole time I Go back and forth between like which outfits I want to wear, what makeup looks I want to do, how I want to wear my hair. So it's a process, guys. Um, ever been in a physical fight outside of fighting with my big sister? No. Um, I do not see the point. Turn on, smell, and dress. 
Like that is the first thing I spot. The way you dress and the, if you, I let you, if I allow you to get close enough, the way you smell. And if I like the way you smell, mm, yes. Okay, turn off bad breath. Like not caring about your appearance. Um, and we're, this is not like a relationship stuff. This is just like initial meet and greet type. Oh, hey, you know, this is what da 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 da. Um, I don't know, I just can't get with you because I care about my appearance. My mom taught me to give a damn, so I expect you to give a damn. The reason I joined YouTube, oh, I don't know, I just, I'm lonely, I'm bored. Uh, I, well, I used to be bored, now I have a ton of stuff to do. But yeah, I just mm, jumped on a YouTube bandwagon and I felt like I could, I could contribute something. Because how I learned how to do makeup um, was from YouTube, makeup and hair, actually. So I owe a lot of my profession to YouTube, so I just felt like I'd get on here and get something back, finally. Um, fears, oh my God. Um, can't really say I'm afraid of heights. Not too afraid of spiders or animals. Um, my fear is probably, my biggest fear is not living up to my expectations like I have these humongous dreams you guys like I have this big picture in my head of how my life is supposed to be and I am just going to be so devastated if it doesn't happen so that is probably the biggest fear that I have and dying I don't want to die I want to die the world ending I don't want the world to end I know it's crappy but God can't you just like just fix it. Snap a finger and fix it. I don't understand. I don't want to die. Um, I don't know. I just, oh my gosh. Because my fear is that the world, I also fear that the world that end, will end before I'm, I've lived, either lived to my full potential or before I have like a family and get established. You know, it's just, that's, that's a fear of mine. And I also fear that my aunt will pass away, my aunt Betty will pass away before I, I make it. And since I was a kid, me and my sister promised her the world and we were gonna give that to her. So that's those are some fears of mine. Just, I guess they deal with death and being a bum. I'm not saying that made you cry. Just, I don't know, I was, I was really emotional a couple of weeks ago. I, I don't, know, I don't cry often, so when I do, it's like a serious thing. I probably cry four times a year. <laughs> I, I allow myself that. Um, and yeah, life was life was becoming a bit too much. Like I had a lot of stuff going on, and I just got really frustrated. And it wasn't like oh, 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 what me. It's just like man, what the what 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 do you want? Like that's how it was. So. Oh, that console look good. Hey, girl. <laughs> Last time you said you loved someone. To my supervisor yesterday. Oh, my gosh. How weird is that? Um, like, we, I I work in the banking, the banking um, realm, and we, but more so call center type thing. Um, and we had a potluck yesterday, and after potluck, I went up to my supervisor and I was like, hey, I need you to do this, 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 blah, blah. I checked on this. We're good. And she's like, okay, thank you. Love you. And I, I mean, I would have felt, I would have felt bad if I didn't say it back. So I was just like, love you too. She's, she's really cool though. She's the sweetest little thing, but it was really awkward. <sighs> Meaning behind your YouTube name, it's my name on my birth certificate. <sighs> Last book you read. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, pause. Okay, I'm back. And the last question was the last um, book you read. The last book I've actually completed reading um, was this book by Eric Jerome Dickey. It is such a great book. Um, my friend put me on Eric Jerome Dickey and this is the first book of his that I've read. I absolutely love how he depicts the scene. Oh my God, it is so crazy. This baby right here is a good read. And I'm, I mean, it's it has like, a little bit of erotica in it but it has a wonderful storyline if you look at it it 
you would think it says Genevieve, but the way they pronounce it in the book was Genevieve, like the how the French would say it. So um, I'm going to call it Genevieve because I'm American. Boom, bam. Um, but yeah, it is a really good book. So if you guys can pick any of his books up, I recommend it. I haven't even, like I said, this first book I read of his, but child, when I tell you that I cannot put that book down. Oh, uh, crazy. Um... So that's the last book I've actually completed reading. And then the next question was um, the book I am currently reading. Now, I'm a reader. I love reading. Uh, both me and my sister, we are, we've just been like that since we were kids. And when I tell you, honey, baby, child, my, okay, so you all guys, well, you probably don't know, but I am in a professional business fraternity. I am in um, AK Psy. And our advisor, the advisor of my chapter, which... Before I joined AK Psy, she was my law professor. Um, she's the advisor of my, like, chapter. And she just wrote a book. Like, how crazy is that? And when I say, baby, it's a page turner. So it's called um, The Code of the Hills by Nancy Allen. Um, Nancy Allen, you are the bee's knees for this book. I've gotten to chapter 16, and I've only had the book since Thursday. I started reading it probably Saturday. I'm on chapter 16. And basically, it's a courtroom thriller is what they call it. I I cannot wait to continue to read this book. Like, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. The last show you watch, SVU. I fall asleep watching that every night um, on my iPad. And then the last person you talk to doesn't mean like actually talked. The last person I talked to, I talked to my friend Kanisha. The relationship in between you and the person you last texted. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Shout out to DeMarco. But I, um, I actually, like I'm, I met this guy, not like, oh, I met this guy, but I met this guy um, this past weekend at one of the events that I went to, and we exchanged emails um, for networking purposes, and um, yeah, so we're emailing for a bit, and then it got old, so we're conversing. Nothing too fancy, though. Um, favorite food, Italian, easy. I love shrimp alfredo and garlic bread, just. I can live off that stuff. A place you want to visit everywhere. Of course, I want to go to Europe. I want to, I want to go everywhere. I can't think of a specific place. Like, I want to go to Spain. Um, I want to go to Canada. I really want to go to Canada. I was just telling my friend last night that I want to go to Canada so bad. I was in my room. But outside of the home, I was in the computer lab in my professional building. Do you have a crush? I used to. Um, about two weeks ago, I was I was crushing hard on somebody and we exchanged words and kind of over it. Um, but yeah, currently I don't have a crush. Hmm. Last time you kissed somebody. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. I've not kissed anybody since 2012. It's been, <laughs> it's been two years since I've kissed somebody. Like, kiss, kissing is really personal to me. Like, no, I can't even. No, if you're not, like, my boyfriend, I can't kiss you. And I've, I've been single for two, um, going on three years now. So, yeah, I don't just go around kissing people in the mouth. No, it's nasty. Last time you were insulted couple of weekends back I was hanging out with a friend and she just she was going ham on me my hair my makeup my outfit whatever favorite flavor of sweet depends on the mood I am in um I like chocolate but I've kind of been like stepping back from sweets but I like I don't know airheads or chocolate what instruments do you play I used to play the flute um and everybody played a recorder come on Favorite piece of jewelry? I don't have one. I don't really wear, I'm not much of an accessorizer, which I need to step my game up on that, but I don't have a lot of accessories at all. Last sport you played? Oh my God. Marco Polo a sport? I think it's a sport, so I swam. It's 
swimming. Swimming is a sport. So, yeah, technically that is. I mean, I didn't do laughs. I was just playing in the pool, did a couple, you know, a little bit Marco Polo water volleyball up in this month. Last song you sang, Rihanna. A chat of mine. I don't have one. Have you ever used it? No, because I don't have one. Last time you hung out with anyone. This weekend, I hung out with my friend Chantrice and um, my coworker Crystal. Who should answer these questions next? Whoever wants to. Okay, TMI. I'm done. Bye.